The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 649 We Meet Again. The lane Felicity followed the battered Pegasus from the edge of the woods, tracing her as she limped into one of the more recluse shelters and gingerly lay down. Almost immediately, her eyes closed the slits, but she was still conscious and on guard. Wait here, Valet motioned with a wing, telling her companion to hold back. She slivered forward, submerging completely as she moved between the shelters, noting that about a third of the encampment seemed to be sleeping. It must have been hard to coordinate sleep schedules when the world was without sun or moon, only a perpetual state of clouds and dusk. It didn't take long to reach the Pegasus's open, rough-made tent. What did take time was figuring out how to approach her. The lady didn't need her cutie mark to tell someone like this would see Sarosian long before they saw the lady. And even if they recognized her, what were the odds their first thought would be of the tunnels and nearly dying rather than that they were now supposed to be friends? Fortunately, she was good at holding her breath, having practiced it extensively in Iron Ridge shadow sneaking for unsavory purposes. As she sat, watching the Pegasus for her distorted underground vision, they finally licked her lips and seemed to settle a little more. Psst, Valet risked, speaking from where she couldn't see her eyes. Her target's ears snapped up. Who goes there? The Pegasus breathed, visibly stiffer, but not moving her head. Don't freak out. I'm a friend. Was flying over in an airship, saw a signal, and came down to check it out. That was the right thing to say. Slowly, the Pegasus turned to face her, and Valet floated just high enough that her head was visible. The moment their eyes met, she gasped and stumbled to her hooves, eyes constricting and breath quickening in fear. But she didn't yell or flee. Everything all right in there, Harshwater? A voice called from several shelters away. Sh shut up! Uh, Harshwater's head snapped backwards to glare at whoever had spoken. I don't have nightmares! She quickly turned to look back at Valet, breathing nervously and looking even more bruised and harried now that Valet saw her up close. This is a trick, but they're not that crafty. I don't believe this. Valet gently shrugged. Don't freak out. It's really me. We're on the same side, right? She tilted her head. Bananas, you look nasty. Harshwater slowly scrutinized her breaths, returning to normal. Maybe we should go do this in the forest, she uncertainly murmured, tail twitching. If you had been seen by anyone but me, they would freak out. Valet nodded, submerging again and beckoning toward the forest. Crawling out of the shelter, Harshwater limped off toward the trees, letting Valet follow on her own. She didn't go too far in, enough that a yell could easily reach the camp, then sat down and sighed to no one. I don't know if you're the last pony I ever wanted to see again, or the first, she said as a way of greeting. Hey, Valet rose out of the shadows, sitting across from her. Long time no see, I guess. Looks like life after Iron Ridge hasn't been kind to you. Tell me about it, Harshwater muttered, reluctant to start explaining and still putting herself at ease. Ahem. Felicity's voice softly cleared its throat from near Valet, though she didn't show herself. Probably your conversation, darling, she whispered. I'll keep watch nearby. Harshwater's gaze snapped at a spot. Who else is there? Valet nudged the ground, and Felicity uncertainly rose halfway up. A friend, I assure you. I'm with Valet. Yeah, Harshwater regarded her, breathing starting to quicken again. Listen, I kind of have some extreme issues and reactions and phobias regarding bad ponies lately, so as a show of faith, could you go over there? Like, really far over that way? Felicity respectfully nodded and slipped away. So, Valet didn't try to make eye contact since Harshwater obviously wasn't interested. What kinds of things do I need to know? First off, are we friends? I kind of recall your name, so I'm guessing you were one of the ones that hung out with us when I returned with all my friends. First off, Harshwater gave her a sharp look. I still have nightmares about the Flame District. And you. 
Don't tell anyone I still have an image to protect with, if it'll ever matter. So when I say seeing you is a relief, that's what things have been like here. After a moment's hesitation, she added, Please tell me you're more trustworthy than an Iron Ridge. I've been making an effort, fully replied. So what's up with you? Harshwater looked briefly shameful, ears going limp. I also might owe you another apology for the Flame District, she admitted. I think I've been getting a closer idea than I ever wanted how we made you feel down there, only drawn out over a few weeks instead of an evening. I don't know, it's hard to track time down here. So, sorry. You wanna tell me about it? Valet kept her posture upright and forelegs loose, unable to tell whether harsh water was going to back away from her or badly need a hug. I'm getting myself together. I'm getting there, Harshwater rebuked. Give me time, okay? This is... Oh. She trembled, then glanced up at Valet out of the corner of her eye. So, there are some bad ponies who live around here, and all of them are really aggressive for no reason. They haven't talked to us since they got here, and everyone else says they're really bad at speaking non-bad pony. But they attack everyone and hate everything we try to do. I can sort of fight them all at once the way you fought us, and apparently they used to read this camp and are only scared off now that I'm here. But every time I try to go flying anywhere on my own, they gang up and try to pick me off. Everyone here was shipwrecked a while ago and are trying to build a new boat to escape, but they don't want to let us do that either. Every time they have raided, it's usually to target that. I've taken a lot of them, but no pony here wants to go on the offensive, and I'm getting worn down faster than they are. I really don't want to die in a place like this. Vili blinked, nodding slowly. Well, bananas. There's some stuff in there that doesn't really make sense, but... Harshwater uncertainly sidled closer. I bet you could clear all of them out with two hooves tied behind your back. Yeah, I probably could, Valet admitted, looking over Harshwater's injuries. So, like, what happens when you fight them? How do you get all roughed up like that? Just punches and stuff? Getting things thrown at you? Harshwater nodded. If you're asking about Miss Mill Monks, I don't think they know how to do that. I thought I was done for the first time they ambushed me, but they were just normal blows. And I can take a hit or free. Just not 300. So I'm guessing you want my help, Valet said, putting on the beginnings of a smirk. Look, I've still got a little investigating to do, but I do get how you feel, and bananas, you're right. No one should die in a place like this. I'll give you anything. Harshwater gave her a serious look. I mean it. I'm, I'm in deep water here. I can only show off for them because I need their morale high so they'll help me. Absolutely anything. I'm desperate. Her eyes unfocused a little. Are you still a shameless flirt? I remember you hitting on me in Anridge. I'd, I'd even give you a kiss if you got me out of this. Or join up with you and go with you. You'll have spared my life when we were fighting and then saved it here. Please, Valet. Valet listened with her mouth slightly ajar, then nodded. Okay, look, that other bad pony who's here, my friend? She can translate. I've got this soundstone, so I can call in and talk to my friends on our ship. Those other bad ponies visited our ship while we were flying over and asked as nicely as they could for us to please keep flying, so like, I'm not leaving, and I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, Harshwater sagged, shoulders starting to tremble. Um, I'm not quite on my last legs, but if there's fighting... Do you mind if I sit out a little? My whole body really isn't feeling so good. Ah, uh, yeah, it kind of looks that way. Valet raised an eyebrow. Take care of yourself, girl. You wanna go back to your camp or stick around? I'm gonna call my friends and tell them what's up and we'll figure out a plan on what to do. Harshwater hesitated. Um, your friends wouldn't happen to include Shine Spark, right? Out of total curiosity? At Valet's look, she elaborated. A lot of these ponies are either merchants and traders or guards hired to protect them on the road, and she's a big name in Anridge. Just thinking. Yep, she's with us, Valet said, catching on and nodding. Juano, Maple, Amber, Starlight, not too many you wouldn't know, actually. Anyway, I take it you're going back to camp? Yeah, I have some convincing to do, Harshwater murmured. Just, just remember, you don't even have to do a lot. Even if your ship isn't big enough for 30-odd ponies, if you could just take out the local bat ponies or make them leave us alone, it'll be enough. 
Now keep it in mind, Fully promised as Harshwater retreated, reaching into her saddlebags for her mana battery and soundstone. End of chapter 649